welcome back to my channel. I'm James and my channel is all about great movies and great TV series from all over the world. And today I've got another special early review of Legend, the complete limited edition Arrow video release on Blu-ray with a brand new 4K scan of the US theatrical cut. And there's a lot of interesting things about this set and I was pretty darned excited about getting this. Now today we're going to be doing my exclusive image comparisons that I do on this channel and we're going to be comparing to this to the previous Universal Blu-ray release that came out many years ago and that's what the image comparison is going to be and that's exclusive to my channel so you're going to want to make sure you subscribe because I do this all the time on a ton of different releases. We're also going to do a movie review while I'm going through those image comparisons. I'm going to do an unboxing to show you everything that comes in this limited edition set run down through all the specs that are in this, tell you what's in it, the quality of it, all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna do my review score at the end, wrap it up with my final thoughts and let you know if this is something that you should spend your money on and upgrade from the previous older Blu-ray release, if it's worth your time and money, and let you know what my thoughts are about the set. There's a lot we've got to dive into this set. Now, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Arrow Video for sending this also to me early for review. I got this about a week and a half before the release date. It should be coming out by the time you get to watch this video in about a week from now. And the release date is September 28th of 2021, and that's when you'll be able to pick up and buy this. So this review will be out quite a while before the actual release date. That way you know if it's something you're gonna to wanna to pre-order, if you're gonna to wanna to buy. And I always put all of the links for everything I talk about, including this limited edition release, in the description section right below this video. So if you're gonna pick this up after you watch this review, make sure to go down through the description section link right below this video. Now, just like I've talked about before on the channel, because this is another early exclusive review that you're only gonna get these Blu-ray versus Blu-ray image comparisons on my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this exclusive content. Now, up above, you're gonna see the comparison between this Legend new 4K scan and the previous Universal Ultimate Edition release that came out many, many years ago. There's a lot of subtle differences and a lot of big differences between them. What I did notice right off the bat is you'll notice as we're going through these screenshots above from the two sets, the new scan had much more darkness to it in the sense of it had much more depth to that image where the blacks and the lights had much more disparity between them which added more depth where you felt like the image was more deep and almost more 3D light coming out at you. Now, the new scan did have more film grain, but that's natural because they didn't take out it with DNR. So it does have more film grain. Now, I am gonna to touch on the controversy that everybody's been asking about right off the bat, so I get that out of the way. This is not a 4K Ultra HD release. It's a 4K scan on Blu-ray. So it's still a Blu-ray like the previous Universal release many, many years ago that you're seeing the difference above of. But here's the thing. The new 4K scan, the technology has advanced way more. They did a 4K scan on this when that original Blu-ray release came out many, many years ago. They did not do that. This new 4K scan does look drastically better in clarity, better in depth to the image, lights to darks, colors look much more different, varying shades of colors on it. And I will say overall, the image is much more pleasing to watch. Now, there is throughout the film, a lot of heavy filters they used when they were filming. The cinematographer and Ridley Scott did a lot of these different colored filters on the film to give it sometimes a hazy look. That's not gonna go away no matter how many times you scan it because that's the way that Ridley Scott and the cinematographer of Legend intended it to be. So you're still gonna have that in this new scan. It's just that there was more shades and more variations, more skin you could see where there was more depth and more tone to the skin. You could see more hairs on the faces. It just had a lot more detail altogether with this new scan. Now that's on the US theatrical cut. I'm gonna to touch on that as well about the director's cut. The director's cut in this did look almost the same as the original Universal. So you get two different cuts of the movie in this set. You get the US theatrical cut, which is the brand new scan that they did on this. Then you get another disc, which has the director's cut on it. Now, I will say my favorite cut of the two films is the US theatrical cut because that's what I've seen before and that's what I always enjoyed. Now, the director's cut has its own merits, though I do think there's a lot of songs in the director's cut and I don't know if any of you have seen the director's cut. If you haven't, 
you will notice there's a lot of songs in it, whereas the US theatrical cut didn't have them in it, where one of the main characters, the girl in it, is singing. Um, they didn't have that in the US theatrical cut, and I kind of liked that they didn't have that. But to each their own, one of you might love the director's cut more than the theatrical, but the theatrical cuts where they did the brand new scan to make it look the best it could. Now, a lot of people asked why they didn't release this on 4K Ultra HD. Arrow's explanation for why this is is very straightforward. They could not get the rights, nor could they get the companies to agree to allow them to release the international cut, the US theatrical cut, and the director's cut all in one set, let alone they couldn't get the companies to agree to allow them to do a 4K because the actual films that they're scanning from and the actual negatives are so damaged that when they started to do it on the director's cut, it showed so many of the special effects that weren't finished and so many errors in the film that it really made it stand out really bad and it looked really, really bad. So to be honest with you, I understand why they didn't do that and I don't really want the film to look horrible on 4K because none of us would have bought it or enjoyed it and it would have gotten horrible review scores. So I understand why they didn't do that and I understand why Universal, when they worked with them on this and got them all of the scans and things like that, why they didn't want them to do that on 4K. I do understand that because that director's cut is kind of a rougher cut. It's not completely finished in every single aspect. So when you watch them between the two differences of the US theatrical cut in this set, versus the director's cut, which is very similar to the old Blu-ray's director's cut. There's just some slight differences that I've noticed on basically what Arrow released in the director's cut. It's slightly lighter. Um, not noticeable enough that in the screenshots I could show you that you'd notice it. So that's why I'm sticking to the screenshots above or the comparison between the US theatrical cut that they did the new 4K scan on and the previous US theatrical cut in the Legend Ultimate Edition that came out from Universal many years ago. That's where the big difference is. And because that's my favorite cut of the film, I really did enjoy that. And I also have to say, I did like Tangerine Dreams, basically musical 80s synth sound to the legend score versus Jerry Goldsmith's cut of the score. And that's where there's kind of varying things that people like for different reasons. If you love Jerry Goldsmith's cut of the basically musical score, you're gonna find that on the director's cut. They took out the Tangerine Dreams cut in that. Whereas on the Legend theatrical cut that came out in the US, that is the Tangerine Dreams basically musical score on it. There is some Jerry Goldsmith added into that throughout it, but it's mostly Tangerine Dreams sound. And I did like that better in my opinion, but to each their own. You get both options in this to choose which you want to watch. Though I did notice the big, big upgrade that makes this a huge selling point for this set is the brand new scan and remaster that they did for the Legend US theatrical cut. That's where the brand new scan comes into play. And that's where what you're seeing above is such a huge difference. If you've been looking at those screenshots above the comparison side by side, there's much more depth to the dark areas where you feel like it's more like inky blacks in those dark areas that really give it that kind of like 3D depth to that image. Whereas on the original theatrical cut that what they released originally by Universal, the blacks kind of looked gray and they had a very grayish tone to them, not as much, very much depth where it looked more realistic like what you were seeing with your eyes because blacks don't usually look gray. And that's where I felt like the original cut of what they released on Blu-ray by Universal many years ago just really, really wasn't a great scan at that time. So this new 4K scan that Arrow did really does shine and come out in this release very, very well. And that's where I felt like after watching it again and then going to the director's cut, there was a big difference between those and the director's cut is a rougher version of the film. And Ridley Scott has talked about that himself. And that's where Arrow Video really didn't even need to explain this. I appreciate that they did, but Ridley Scott already explained this in the intro, basically before the director's cut, explaining the director's cut film is so damaged and they didn't have all the special effects and everything done correctly for it, that basically what they did in that 2011 original Blu-ray release of the director's cut is the best that that's ever going to look. And Arrow agreed with that, that basically even if they scanned it in 4K, it's gonna look horrible. So this is, as my understanding is, the best we're ever gonna get Legend. I wish we would get a 4K and I wish that there were so many other things they could do with it, but they can't. And I do think for this being the limited edition set, this is the ultimate set. That previous one where basically Universal said it was the ultimate edition, it's not. Compared to this, you won't ever watch that Ultimate Edition US cut ever again. Even the director's cut looks slightly better just because there were some things, like I said, the blacks were a little bit better on it. Not as drastic, obviously, because it wasn't a brand new scan. There was just some small things that it seemed like were tweaked in it when you played them side by side. But to touch on the film itself, the film is a fantasy action adventure about 
evil in darkness that's the main guy here that kind of looks like a devil or a demon or it's kind of basically between light and dark so the whole film is based on between goodness the fight of goodness versus darkness and i like that aspect and element of it though i will touch on something for a lot of you it is rated pg for the u.s theatrical cut the director's cut is unrated. There's a lot more violence and a lot more scenes in the director's cut, so it never got rated because it wasn't something that was theatrically released. Now, I will say the PG rating for this movie, I don't know how it ever got that, because when I watch this again, especially now with the new, basically, scan and things like that, where things are easier to see, there's a lot of things I never noticed were in this film, and I will tell you right off the bat, it does have a very dark, foreboding, um, there is quite a bit of violence in it that kind of surprised me because it was kind of geared as a kid's movie when it originally came out back in 1985. It is not a kid's movie in my opinion whatsoever. I would not let my kids watch this. I did not let my kids watch this. After watching it again, in my opinion, it's not a kid's movie. Now, each one of you can take it as you want. As you all know, I'll always give you my honest thoughts and opinion, but to each your own. In my opinion, it's not a kid's movie. To be honest with you, there were some things that kind of some of the characters in it, especially like Evil's henchmen that kind of look like executioners that were like torturing some of the characters in it. I mean, I never really noticed that before in the US theatrical cut. Now that you could see it so much better, it really stood out and I noticed it. Um, that's where I kind of say this was definitely not, in my opinion, a PG movie. I definitely feel like it's either a PG-13. No, it didn't have the curse words or blood and gore, but the sets and the overall, like, just mood and scariness of Evil's lair and his, basically, castle when they're trying to rescue the princess and things like that. Holy cow. The new scan and things like that really brought you into the darkness of that and really made you feel like, wow. So I will warn you off the bat, if you haven't seen this film, it is not a light-hearted fantasy. It is very much a deep and thoughtful and dark and foreboding fantasy. Now, on the other side of it, that does add to the element of why I think this movie is so unique. Ridley Scott is known for his massive sets, his massive details, um, and you gotta remember in 1985, they didn't do a ton of computer effects at that time, so these sets were all built, and there's a big story behind it, but the wood set was built on a soundstage inside this giant wood, so the whole beginning of the film takes place in the woods. And I didn't know that originally that was built in a soundstage until I started watching some of the special features. But basically the wood set was built on this giant soundstage, which is amazing after you watch the movie and now you see that. It wasn't actually filmed out in the woods, it was on a huge soundstage. That burned down, basically it was an accident, and it burned down and they had to rebuild it and it cost a ton of money. That's incredible because that set is huge. Same thing with the castle and the dungeons they go into. Holy cow are those details. There are some honestly awe-inspiring, like creepy stuff in the castle and on the walls. So when you watch this on the new scan, let me know if you end up picking this up and you watch this with the new scan and you see some of the creepy stuff on the walls in the castle that you never noticed before. Because holy cow, there was a lot of things I noticed that really added to the basically evilness of what darkness has in his castle. And that really shows the contrast between good and evil which I think kind of added to the element of the movie, which is what really Scott was trying to get across is there's such a big difference between goodness and badness, and that's where they're getting across in the film. So as far as that goes, it is an entertaining film. I do enjoy it. I'm not gonna say it's my all-time favorite Ridley Scott film. It's not, but it is one of those films that's built up in cult status. It has a lot of elements to it that Ridley Scott has brought from numerous films. Some of the characters, like the hag in the water that I'll show you above, still to this day creeps me out. That basically costume and character and the special effects and the makeup effects, same thing with darkness. I mean, holy cow, even to today's standards, the makeup and costume effects and how well it blends in and their mouths move and it doesn't look like it's rubber or anything. It really looked real. Holy cow, did they do an amazing job on this film with those. And that's where I really feel like added to the realistic element of Legend. So when you watch this new scan, let me know if you notice how detailed some of those costumes are. They're like that hag, holy cow on this new scan new details in that costume came out that I never noticed before. Like the person hanging off her back was actually like somebody I guess she'd eaten. So not meaning to gross people out here, but holy cow, you could notice so much more in this new scan, which really added to the creepy effect. Same thing with the goblins. You could see so much detail in their faces that I never noticed before. So in that sense of it, this new scan blows away the previous universal scan that they had on that ultimate edition Blu-ray. If you own that like I do, Get rid of it, you'll never watch it again. This new limited edition set is what you're gonna to wanna to own. 
And because this is the best that they said is ever going to be released, unless every studio, including Disney, who owns the rights to the international cut now because they own Fox, come together, which Disney is incredibly hard to work with. And to be honest, Disney doesn't seem to like releasing physical media as much. Uh, I doubt we'll ever see anything better than this based on what Arrow and Universal both came out and explained. Same thing with Ridley Scott explaining about the cut of the director's cut. So this is the ultimate way to own it. And to be honest with you, it did look amazing in that new scan that it blows away anything that was previously on that Blu-ray. And I hope the screenshots above have given you a clear enough picture of what it really is that you're seeing in this and how much of a big upgrade Arrow Video really did with that new scan for the theatrical cut. So I really think that's a big selling point for this set. Now, we've got a lot more to go into this set. I'm gonna go into the unboxing, tell you everything you get in this. There's some big surprises. Then we're gonna go into the rest of the things I have to cover in this review. But make sure you stick around. I'm gonna cover something real quick with all of you. You don't wanna miss out. If you enjoy this video and you enjoy my content on my YouTube channel, please consider giving this video a super thanks. There's a symbol right below this video that if you click on that, that helps support my channel, helps me to keep providing you all of these exclusive Blu-ray versus Blu-ray image comparisons, 4K versus Blu-ray image comparisons. All of that takes a ton of software and a ton of time and work for me to provide all of this exclusive and special content to all of you. So if you enjoy my content, please consider giving a super thanks on each of my videos. That does go right back into the channel and helps me to keep providing you all of this special, early and exclusive content. Also, another way you can help support the channel. If you're gonna pick up this legend or any other release on any of my reviews, I put down in the description section right below each video, the links to every single release. That way, if you're gonna pick it up, you click on that, it takes you straight out to Amazon so you can pre-order or buy each of these releases. So if you're gonna pick this up, I just ask that you please go through that link below and click through that link to purchase it. Also, don't forget to give this video a like for me. Give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss out on any of this exclusive content and click the bell notification right next to it. That way when I do these early reviews before release date, you get to know about them and get to watch them early so you know if it's something you're gonna to wanna to pre-order or something you're gonna to wanna to buy. So make sure you click that bell notification. All right, we've got a ton more to dive into Legend. Let's dive right back into this. All right, coming right back into Legend here. Now it does come in their nice limited edition hard case that I love that Arrow does. And I will say I love these cases that they do. It does come with a J card on it, has this artwork on it where it's got the new commissioned artwork, which I really like the new artwork on it. You get to the side here, obviously it says legend, big case here, universal. And then on the back of the J card, it has the same thing listing off everything that's in the case. And I will touch on this right away. Looking at the special features on here, it does include every single special feature that was included in that original universal release. All of those are included, plus a plethora, a huge amount of special features that were new that Universal and Aero Video commissioned and did for this special release. As always, Aero Video does an amazing job with their special features. You literally can spend hours upon hours watching all their special features. And if you see all of this above in that picture I'm showing above, there is tons of them. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I used to try to do that and the video became like two or three hours long. I don't do that anymore. It really does look great and has so much extra things to watch. Now, it does go into that disc two is the director's cut, disc one is the theatrical cut, and I'll touch on that for a second here. They each got a separate disc, which I really did like. That way they're not shoved into one. They are both on BD50s. So you get BD50 for the theatrical cut and you get a BD50 for the director's cut. And that was a good amount for all of the content that's in there, especially for all the new special features. There's new things like isolated music and effects tracks. The isolated music score from Tangerine Dream, which I really like that side of it. I love the synthwave. As most of you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, I love synthwave. I love 80s. I love everything from there. And there's something so great about that sound. That's why I feel like the Tangerine, because of the US theatrical cut, was the best version because I love that soundtrack. And that's included on this. There's music videos from that. That's just touch on a few other things. Now, to show you here on the side here, this is what it looks like with everything in it. We're gonna dive into the inside of it here. Getting the inside here, I switched the cover around so you can see it has reversible artwork. Now, you get this artwork on the other side of the reversible artwork in the case, but I wanna show you both so you knew what you got in. On the side here, you get a different artwork on the side with Tom Cruise's character, it says Arrow Video. And then the back, slightly different, it says the same thing on it. It just has a slightly different background with a blue and a purplish, basically color behind it going into that. Now, the case I love, it's one of those clear Blu-ray cases, makes it feel really premium. Because again, this is a limited edition set from Arrow. 
Aero Video does a great job with these limited edition sets. If you're interested in watching more of these types of limited edition reviews, I've done dozens of them on the channel now. Donnie Darko, Major Dundee, we've got the Children of the Corn, we've got the Children of the Corn Special Edition. I don't even want to go through them all. We've got so many. Dune, Dune was a great one. I love the Dune limited edition set. If you haven't checked out that review, check that one out as well. But getting inside here, you're going to have the disc with the new, basically, artwork on it. It says Legend, US Theatrical Cut, Ready PG, and then Legend, Director's Cut. They put that all on it. Now, I will point this out right now since we're talking about the discs here. These are Region A locked. So if you live outside the US or in another country that is not Region A, you will need to have a region free Blu-ray player to play these or a multi-region Blu-ray player to play these discs. So I tested them as I always did in my Region A, my Region B, and my Region C Blu-ray players. They only would play in my Region A, which I live in the US, so for the US territories and for basically anyone that's in Region A territories, these will play just fine, but they are Region A locked. So if you live in the UK and you want to get this set, you'll have to import it from the link below in the description section below from Amazon that I have down there, but you will need a region free player to play this. Once you have that, you can play it no problem. And if you're looking for recommendations of good region free players, in the description section below, I will have the ones I personally use that work all around the world. They are listed in the description section below. I have those listed out what I personally recommend and what I use. Now, getting into the rest of this here, it does come with the postcards, which I do love. I always love these postcards. It comes with a little advertisement, as always, for another Arrow video release. And then it does have the reversible artwork you can see from the inside here listing out on that as well. Going into the postcards, I'm not going to show them all off here in my hand, but I will show them to you above so you can look at them. There is a bunch of them, and they go through different artworks and different characters that are in them. I really like these postcards, and I try to keep them in the best condition possible, so I always leave them in my case. But I really thought they were a nice treat. They always do these in these limited edition sets from Arrow, but there's an extra bonus thing that I was really surprised about that I haven't gotten in a limited edition set yet. This is the extra big bonus that surprised me when I went through this set. You get actual photographs, and these are high gloss, if you can see this at all. There's this plastic case around them, but there's actually their high gloss photographs inside. And I'll show you some of these. If you can see how high gloss these are, they're actual like photos. And man, they smell good too. They're actual like photos. They kind of smell like those really high gloss baseball cards that we used to get from Tops and Flair and all those companies. Anyhow, they're really high gloss photos and they're actually like on photo stock. So they're really, really nice. Like I'm talking high gloss and they look beautiful. I really liked these. They're cast photos of each of the cast members and I'll show them above. I'm not going to go through them all because there is a ton of them. Really detailed, show the depth and the details of the characters in them. I really liked these. These were a huge bonus. High props to Arrow for including this. This is a first that I've gotten in one of these sets. And I really hope they continue to do these high gloss photos and more limited edition sets going forward. I love the postcards. Don't cut those out. But include these high gloss photos as well because, man, these were really cool. Next up, we got the big poster here. And this is always hard for me to fit in the frame because these posters are so big. But I do love them. It comes with the newly commissioned artwork of Legend here. Smells great as usual. As you all know, a little weird quirk of mine. I love the smell of the ink that Aero Video uses for these or the paper. It just smells so good. Anyhow, it's got both editions of the artwork. I really like the posters and this is another great collectible that they add to these limited editions. And then the last big thing in the box is this nice book you get in. And I will say for an Aero Video limited edition book, this one's pretty decent sized. It's not a pamphlet. It actually was really nicely done. It has the same artwork that was on those pictures before and the same artwork that was on the poster. And when you get inside here, it's got the table of contents. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but there's a ton of stuff it talks about. It also goes in depth on the restoration. And it talks about Ridley Scott on the 2011 Blu-ray transfer of the director's cut. It goes through his whole basically explanation of why they can't do more with that, which that's kind of where I got my explanation as well about why it is they can't do that. It's detailed in here in extreme depth of why that is and goes through the characters in it, talks about legend, has pictures throughout it. Just overall, it's a, it's a pretty darn big book. And I really recommend if you're a Legend fan, a Ridley Scott fan, you like the movie at all, this book alone is what makes these collector's editions and limited edition sets from Arrow Video such big collectibles because I love going through these books. That's why I shared about the little hidden things I knew, their special features that they included about the woods burning down that they built, all of this about the director's cut in the books. That's why there's so much things. If you're a film fan, a cinephile, a film collector, any of that, you're going to want to get things like this from Arrow Video that are included in these limited edition sets 
because they really do add a lot of history and depth to all of these collector sets that are really cool to own. All right, so talking about the film here, it does come in the original aspect ratio of 2.35.1. Audio option wise, you do get it in English, which comes with DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. It's a 48 kilohertz, 24 bit mix. And I will be honest with you, it sounds great. Even when there's a lot going on in the film, like the fighting or the goblins attacking and little explosions and fire, you could still hear it really well. And I thought the DTS HD Master 5.1 audio mix sounded good on it. The only times I noticed it was a little difficult to hear some of what the characters said was when they were in the dungeon and basically there was the dungeon master coming to get them out of the jail and he was bomb, bomb. And they were trying to talk over that. The bass for that was so loud that sometimes it was hard to hear just a little bit of what they were trying to whisper to each other, the characters. But I think that's because they used so much basically depth in that sound mix that the bass came on so much louder but it's still a great sound mix on it. It does come with Dolby Digital 2.0 stereo that is available in English as well if you wanted to listen to it on that. Both cuts of the movie, the director's cut and the theatrical cut come with the same two different audio options. So you get DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 in English on the theatrical and the director's cut. Same thing for the Dolby Digital 2.0, same thing on the theatrical and the director's cut. Runtime between the theatrical cut is 90 minutes for the US theatrical cut it's 113 minutes for the director's cut. Director's cut obviously is longer, but it is, in my opinion, a rougher version of the film. Um, I did not like the director's cut as much, but let me know in the comment section below if you end up picking this up, which version of the film you like better, because I'm always curious what people like better one way or the other. Subtitle wise, you do get English subtitles on both cuts of the film, but that's it. Just English subtitles, there's no other subtitle options on it. But the good thing is it does come with English subtitles. Price wise for this, for a limited edition, it's very attractively priced. So you're looking at between 35 to $40 at most for this limited edition set. A lot of these times, these limited edition Arrow releases are usually 45 bucks up to $60 for these limited edition sets. So this one's very, very budget priced for what you get in it, especially for the box, the books, the posters, postcards, photos, two cuts of the movies, two discs. I mean, overall, it's a great deal for that $35 price range. Now for this film, my review score is a 9.7. For the entire box set, for liking the film, for what they did with this new 4K scan and remaster, for everything you get in this great box set, 9.7 is a great review score. Highly recommend picking this set. If you haven't pre-ordered yours yet, go down to the description section link below and pre-order it. If you're watching this after release date, go down there the same way and buy it through there. Because I recommend picking this one up. It's the best legend has ever looked. And to be honest, based on everything I've read, everything I've seen, I don't know that we're gonna get anything better than this. Maybe in 10 years or so, if we could get studios to work together like what they talk about, which seems like some of the studios are just kind of pig-headed sometimes and never really wanna work together. But as far as that goes, this set is highly recommended. And if you live outside of the US and you wanna get this, I'd recommend importing it from the link below, but make sure you have a region free player if you live outside of the US or outside of region A territories. So anyone that lives in region A territories, America, Canada, you're fine. Highly recommend picking this release up. 9.7 is a great review score for this. And I really hope Aero Video continues to release the new limited edition sets from now on. With those photographs, those photographs were one of my favorite things in this. Now, I always love the books, but I like when Aero Video includes something I didn't expect. Those photographs were a top-notch glossy photo that looked beautiful, and I really, really liked those and really enjoyed them. Also, this week I've done four early special and exclusive reviews this week with image comparisons between 4Ks and Blu-rays and Blu-rays versus Blu-rays. So make sure to go down to the YouTube channel and check out some of those. I've done Children of the Corn this week. That was a whole two weeks early before release. Star Trek, the four movie 4K collection, Unbreakable, and now Legends. So all of these have been really early and exclusive reviews. So make sure you go down to the YouTube channel, check out some of those if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of this early, special, or exclusive content. I've been having a fun time. It's great working with these companies and a huge shout out to Arrow Video for sending this early for review. I really appreciate them sending me all of these early for review so I can get these all out to you weeks in advance. But as always, whether somebody sends me something or doesn't, just like you'll see in that Unbreakable review, 
I always give my honest opinion what I see and what I hear and what is in these box sets if it's worth you spending your hard-earned money to pick up and buy. And that's why I said if you want to check out that Unbreakable review, I think you'll find some interesting things about that one as well. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me, click that subscribe button and the bell notification. I appreciate all of your time today. I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to doing this again real soon.